I'm Julia Hood and I'm the manager of school and family learning at Renolda House Museum of American Art. In our pop-up studio today, we're going to make a quick decorative paper using chalk and water. You could call this marbleized paper or chalk printing. And here's an example of what you can get. If you use a more vibrant chalk, you'll get brighter colors in your print, like in this example. Or we also have this. So you can use different colors and create different effects. I'll show you what you need to create this project and how to make it. For this project, you will need a deep four-sided tray or baking dish, large enough to fit a piece of paper and at least an inch of water. You'll need several pieces of plain paper. I'm using a lightweight cardstock because it's sturdier, but you can also use regular copy paper. You will also need sidewalk chalk. The regular stuff you can find in most stores will work and create nice, light pastel colors. To get more vibrant colors for your print, use Prang brand Free Art Large Drawing Chalk. You can order this online from Dick Blick Art Materials or Amazon. To disperse the chalk, you'll need a tool that can scrape the edge of the chalk but not hurt your hands. The back edge of a plastic or metal butter knife works great, but you can also open blunt tip scissors and scrape with one blade, the same way you would curl a ribbon. Be careful of your hands if you're using this method with the scissors. You'll also need enough water to fill the bottom of your dish to about one inch in depth. Place your dish on a surface that it's okay if you get it a little wet and messy from the chalk. Pour about one inch of water into the dish or tray. Choose your chalk colors. You can use as few or as many as you like, but I recommend selecting about three to four per print you make. Scrape the chalk over the tray with the back side of your knife or blade of your scissors. Move the chalk around as you scrape to distribute the color to different areas of the water surface. The chalk will float just on top of the surface, which is important for being able to make a print. Some chalk will be easier to see than others. Trust your memory of how much chalk you've scraped rather than how much you can see on the surface. If you have too much chalk or it scrapes in chunks that are too big, it will sink and not be useful for the project. When you are satisfied that you have a thin layer of chalk over the water, take your piece of paper and hold it by the two opposite corners. Slowly lower the paper onto the surface of the water and let go of the corners. If you have a skewer or toothpick or other tool, you can gently lift the corner of your paper and remove it from the water. Lay flat to dry. Here, I'm going to show you this process again using the same water, but this time with four colors of Prang Free Art Drawing Chalk. Notice how the chalk can cause other chalk on the surface to move and spread. No two prints will be exactly alike. Let your prints dry. Once the prints are dry, you can spray them with hairspray or fixative, which is an art supply used for chalk pastel or charcoal drawings to better preserve the chalk onto the paper. Here are the finished pieces with the first one I made on the right and the second one on the left. See the PDF instructions for written directions, how to find the more vibrant chalk, and additional suggestions for what you might do with your decorative paper. You can find these by following the link below the video. Thank <laughs> you.